Have you ever wondered how a ramjet engine works? Well, you're about to find out. A ramjet engine, in its simplest form, is an air-breathing jet engine. It uses the engine's forward motion to compress incoming air without an axial compressor or a centrifugal compressor. This might sound technical, but what it really means is that a ramjet engine is a marvel of engineering efficiency. Now, where do we usually find these engines? They're commonly used in supersonic jet aircraft and missiles. The reason for this is their speed range. Ramjets work most efficiently at high speeds, roughly around two to three times the speed of sound. That's faster than a bullet, mind you, so imagine the power and speed these engines can provide. They're the heart of some of the fastest vehicles mankind has ever created. Now, let's dive into the workings of a ramjet engine. To understand how a ramjet engine works, we need to understand its basic structure. A ramjet engine is a marvel of engineering with a simple yet efficient design. It consists of three main components, the inlet, the combustion chamber, and the nozzle. The first component, the inlet, is the first point of contact for air entering the engine. It's designed to slow down incoming air, increasing its pressure. In aviation lingo, this is called compression. But don't be fooled by the simplicity of this process. It's crucial for the engine's performance. The compressed air has a higher density, meaning there are more oxygen molecules in a given space, which is essential for combustion. Next, we have the combustion chamber. This is where the magic, or rather, the science happens. The compressed air from the inlet mixes with fuel and ignites. The result? A high-pressure, high-temperature gas. This gas is packed with energy, ready to be harnessed to propel the aircraft forward. Lastly, we have the nozzle. This is the exit point for the high-pressure gas. Here, the gas expands and is expelled at a high velocity, creating a force in the opposite direction. This force is what we call thrust. It's the thrust that pushes the aircraft forward overcoming drag and gravity. The nozzle is designed to maximize the speed of the gas, and in turn, the thrust produced. Each of these components plays a vital role in the engine's operation. The inlet compresses the air, the combustion chamber ignites the fuel-air mix, and the nozzle expels the gas to create thrust. They're like the three musketeers of the ramjet engine, each playing their part to achieve one common goal, powerful, efficient propulsion. With a grasp of these components, we can now delve into how they work together. So buckle up as we journey further into the fascinating world of ramjet engines. Shockwaves play a crucial role in the functioning of a ramjet engine. But what are shockwaves exactly? Imagine throwing a stone into a calm pond. The ripples that radiate outward are akin to shockwaves in air. Now in the context of a ramjet engine, these shockwaves are created due to the sudden deceleration of incoming air at supersonic speeds. As our aircraft zips through the atmosphere, air rushes into the engine at high speed. Here's where the magic happens. The shape of the engine's inlet is designed to create a shock wave, a sudden change in pressure and temperature. This shock wave acts like an invisible wall, slowing down the incoming air from supersonic to subsonic speeds, almost like hitting the brakes on a race car. But that's not all. As the air slows down, it also compresses, increasing in pressure and temperature. Why does this matter? Well, this compression prepares the air for the next stage of the engine's operation, the combustion process. It's like setting up the stage for a grand performance. By slowing down and compressing the air, the shock waves ensure that the fuel can burn efficiently in the combustion chamber. In essence, shock waves act as the silent and invisible conductors of the symphony that is a ramjet engine, orchestrating the precise conditions needed for efficient combustion. Shock waves are the first step in the engine's operation setting the stage for combustion. After the air is compressed by the shock waves, it's ready for the next step, combustion. Now combustion in its simplest form is just a fancy word for burning, but in a ramjet engine, it's not as simple as lighting a match. Here, combustion is a controlled explosion that happens in the blink of an eye, over and over again. So how does this process work? Well, it all starts with fuel injection. Just like in your car, fuel is squirted into the combustion chamber. This fuel, which is typically a form of highly refined kerosene, is carefully measured and precisely timed to ensure the most efficient burn. But fuel alone won't combust. It needs something to ignite it. And that's where the compressed air comes in. Remember the shock waves we talked about earlier? They've done their part and compressed the incoming air, heating it up in the process. This hot compressed air is the perfect environment for combustion. The fuel and the hot compressed air mix together forming what we call a fuel-air mixture. 
This mixture is highly combustible and it's this combustibility that we're going to exploit. A spark is then introduced to this volatile mixture and boom, we have ignition. The fuel air mixture explodes, creating a sudden and powerful force. This force is so powerful in fact, that it sends a wave of expanding gases rushing out the back of the engine. Now, you might be wondering, why does this matter? Well, remember Newton's third law for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So when the gases rush out the back of the engine, they push the engine and therefore the aircraft in the opposite direction. And that in a nutshell is how combustion works in a ramjet engine. But it's not just a one-time thing. This process happens over and over again, multiple times a second. This constant cycle of combustion is what keeps the aircraft moving forward at high speeds. This combustion process is what gives a ramjet engine its thrust. By now, you should have a good understanding of how a ramjet engine works. In the simplest terms, it's an air-breathing beast that uses the engine's forward motion to compress incoming air before combustion. But let's not forget, it's the shock waves that play a pivotal role in slowing down the air to a manageable speed. Remember, in a ramjet, there are no moving parts, no turbines or compressors. It's the speed of the aircraft itself that compresses the air. That's what we call dynamic compression. The air is then forced into the combustion chamber, where it's mixed with fuel and ignited. This combustion process significantly increases the pressure and temperature of the air, propelling it out of the engine's rear with incredible force. This force, or thrust, is what propels the aircraft forward. Each component of the ramjet engine plays its part in this symphony of speed and power. From the intake, which captures and slows the air, to the combustion chamber, where the magic of ignition happens, and finally, the nozzle, which directs the high-pressure gases to produce thrust. It's all about harnessing the power of air and fuel, and transforming it into raw, propulsive force. From air intake to thrust generation, each step of the process contributes to the powerful performance of a ramjet engine. And that, my friends, is the powerful simplicity of a ramjet engine.